Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. Well, we've moved to the Heber Valley and we're actually gonna follow some of the boys and girls from Wasatch High School. Now, Wasatch High has a really unique course that's offered to their students that get them interested in the outdoors. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's made this possible. Wasatch High School students time. invited kids from Heber Valley out for a youth chucker hunt, sponsored by the CAPS program at Wasatch High. Trevor and Trent, um, you're gonna be going here with Rich, so just raise your hand, introduce yourselves to each other. CAPS is an innovative high school program where students are immersed in a professional culture. Just 20 gauge shells. Using industry standard tools and are mentored by actual professionals all while receiving That's a real pretty little bird. high school and college credits. It's a new way to think of education. Rather than just reading, writing, and arithmetic, it's application of all those skills they've learned for 11, 12 years. Now they get to actually apply it and put it to work in real life situations. Jake, Cheyenne, and Logan are seniors and helped raise more than 140 chuckers that will be released for today's hunt. So in CAPS, we have a couple different groups and there are different categories in CAPS. So we're in the ag department, there's business and lots of other ones. And so in our ag, we have groups like we did the chuckers and other groups did um, the bugs on the Provo River. Uh, just an experience for the kids to get out in the outdoors and get a chance to hunt and see some of the things that they may have not got the chance or the opportunity to do. Uh, Hunters with the Chucker Foundation brought their dogs to help out with today's event. So I think we know what we're doing. Come with me, gentlemen. And if I can come out here and be with them and on their project and get to watch my dog and see these young people, hopefully uh, the next generation will take over. There it is. All right. I got a feeling we're going to get a shot at this one. That's pretty, isn't it? Okay. Step forward. Step forward. A little bit more. Ready? Ready? Get it. Nice! Fetch! Got him. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. And drop. Good girl. Oh, good job. Excellent shot. Next time, maybe let it get out just a little bit further. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a cool program that I can get hands-on work and then I can uh, kind of figure out what I want to do for work. Trevor is looking to follow in his dad's footsteps, Alan Ward, who is a fisheries biologist at Strawberry. No way. Trevor's CAPS program involves studying the bugs on the Provo River, but today it's his little brother who's showing him how to bag some birds. Whoa, he moved. He hit in the head again. Flash cold hair. Right now we are um, sorting out our bugs and getting all the data and looking at what, what we've got to work with. Yeah, good boy. So we captured all our bugs and we've got samples that we got to go through, so. Yeah. Yep. What have you learned from it? Um, there are a lot of case caddis in the Provo River. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Wasatch High is the only high school in the state that offers natural resource type classes. And it's all because of teachers like Mr. Z and programs like this, that kids like these might be our next biologists in the state.